the last thing I ever want to do on this podcast is make other moms feel like they are inadequate because somehow they're not doing it the way we're doing it. And we have it all figured out and all put together. And that is absolutely right. not the truth. So Abby, as you're, you're in a new year, you know, your kids are growing up fast, just like mine are. What are some of the things that you struggle with? Um, some of the things maybe that you have struggled with the most that you're working on, mm -hmm. where are you in this, this world of angst? <laughs> angst. Um, <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's if it's angst, but I, I, something hit me this summer that like I love to homeschool. I love it. It's not something I mean, I'm called to do it. God commands us to do it. But but I also love it. Like it is also a passion of mine. And I I love organizing. I love planning really fun days. I love teaching to my kids gifts and talents. Like the whole yeah. thing is my passion. And what I realized this summer, because then then we have a, a lot of days that are like fall apart days where days where kids aren't cooperating and like just hard days. And I'm like, I don't understand why this day is hard because I've put in the time to prep. Mm -hmm. I have the mental, like I'm far enough to go, okay, I'm teaching to my kids gifts and talents. I know to put the books away when kids start crying. Like, like we talk about this stuff all the time. But what I realized is I have this vision in my brain of how it's supposed to go. It's, I have the way that I make the muffins. I do the fun things. I teach to their gifts and talents. And then somehow I'm faced with these. Oh, I even do this. Like, I know that this child's gift is this. So I know how to teach them according to their learning style, like all the things. And then I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'm a sinner and they're sinners. And I think my struggle that I've realized I need to really work on is I just have this attitude of like, if you guys would just follow along with what I have planned, follow along with what I'm doing, like get in the passenger seat. It's going to be good. Like you're going to find joy. You're going to love it. I have so many amazing, exciting things, but instead I have real kids that grumble and complain. <laughs> I have real me who wants them to. And I think what I've learned about myself is like, I think I'm kind of expecting I'm expecting something from them and they're not meeting it. Like mm. I'm expecting for them to be just on my same page, like wake up excited, wake up totally ready to just learn whatever I teach you. Don't argue, don't buck me. And then when they do, this is my struggle right here. Then when they do, then when I'm faced with real kids and real sin and, and it's not just all this in my head, it's like real life boots to the ground, then I kind of crumble and I, I get mm. upset and I'm like, why can't you just be a part of my perfect pretty picture basically <laughs> and then the whole thing falls apart so i i feel like i need to some an area i'm working on is i need to give my expectations to god and i need to stop having i still need to do all the great things but i need to release the expectations because when they don't play <laughs> the way i want right. them to play <laughs> then i get really really discouraged and frustrated yeah. and i feel like my my whole world is just crashing down and I, and I don't like that. Um, yeah. And that's just being really, really real and honest because I don't have it mastered yet. And it's something I know I need to work on because I can tell it's not, it's not blessing to anybody and it's derailing everybody.